my girlfriends, their, their friends came, my mom even came. Oh yeah, my mom was in there, she was ready. Where do you think I got it from, right? <laughs> so uh, everyone came in, they had a great time, and here we are today. So one of the first things that I ask the women to do when they come into this class is to strut. Not just walk, strut. All right, audience, so tell me, do who here remembers Beyonce? at the Super Bowl. Who? Oh, come on. Yes. Think of this. Duh. Dun, 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 dun. Clap with me. All right. So that moment, boom, she pops up. Cut and hit. And hit. OK, that's the dance teacher of me there. So uh, what I get them to do is strut. So the, what I see often is women that really need help building their confidence. And that sure telltale sign is this. There's a few of them. One, they're looking at the ground. Two, their shoulders are kind of hunched. Three, they're looking a bit bewildered or maybe even scared. <laughs> and four, they're kind of going half-ass. Now, not because they're not good enough, because they absolutely are, it's because they think that they're not good enough. <sighs> but you are, you absolutely are. You are absolutely good enough. So, with my 20 years of dance teacher experience, one thing I've noticed is when women are physically showing you those, those movements in that way, in that moment in time, that is how they are physically feeling about themselves as women. And what the Army of Sass Dance program does is it lets women break free of that through their physicality, and then eventually their emotions will come along with it. Okay? It's not just about booty shaking and fishnets and heels. It's so much more. It's just about us coming together, having a good time, and enjoying ourselves. I want to tell you a little something about the women that you just saw on stage today. Mothers, 
teachers, a librarian. <laughs> yes, right? A little librarian. In this program, we have everything from scientists, lawyers, and even cancer survivors. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little story. And it's about one of my first students in Army of Sass. Her name is Megan. She first came in and she was so shy. Again, shoulders down, look down. It took her three months. I'm not joking. It took her three months to look me in the eye to have a conversation. I would be like, what were you saying, honey? <laughs> and throughout about a year span, she really blossomed and came into her own. She kept coming back for a reason. And today, that woman who was in a slump, who was just recently divorced, didn't believe in herself at the time, yet wanted to, and hated her job, is now one of my leading instructors, choreographers, and mentors to other Army of SAS women across the country. Yeah, let's give it up for Megan. Because she represents so many of the women that are part of this program and so many of the women that are just sitting in this room today or watching live stream, okay? So one of the things that I love is that she really accepted herself. She just accepted who she is and what she wants to do and she just went for it. So one of the exercises that I get the women to do in my classes are this. Like, ladies, when you go to do your strut, okay, I, I did my strut thing. There's not much room. Normally, I, I'll, I will strut all the way down there and back again. But I need to keep on with my talk another time. So what I ask is say, ladies, when you're strutting, if one cheek is high-fiving the other, you're doing your job. Yes! Because you know what? As women, let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's be authentic. We are not robots. We have bodies. We wiggle. And guess what? Oh, we jiggle. <laughs> right? Right, ladies? Yeah. And even our gentlemen, you too. Hey, whatever. Whatever works for you. Um, so we wiggle and we jiggle. So it's just about accepting yourself and having a good time. So in conclusion, I just want to, thank you. In conclusion, I just want to, you know, let you know that yes, it is a free world and you can think and feel as you wish, absolutely. However, I do challenge you to look at these women that just performed as brave and bold. Like the proud mom, like, it's my babies. <laughs> Can't help myself. I'm a woman. What can I say? I get a happy cry. Okay, so yeah, I want you to see them as brave and bold because that is exactly what they are. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, they are not doing this for any form of validation from you or anyone else. It's simply for themselves. They get together with their girlfriends, they sweat, they burn calories without even knowing it, and they just have a good time and they make new friends. So this isn't just about a community. It's not even just about a movement. It's a momentum, a momentum of confidence. And I truly believe this momentum is a force. Thank you. <laughs>